rules of debit and credit now students these two terms debit and credit are used in accounts to show the two effects of a transaction what do they show they show two effects of a transaction now students debit is in short written as dr and credit is written as cr there are lots of theories and lots of uh, interpretations of how these terms have actually come into being but we will not go into the historical aspect of it we will just remember that debit and credit they are the two terms which are used to show two different aspects of a transaction now students in order to use debit and credit we must understand the classification of accounts so now the next topic that we are going to start is classification of accounts the accounts or the classification is actually on two bases now there is a concept which we refer to as traditional classification traditional and the other one is modern approach now students under traditional classification the accounts have been classified in two different categories the first one being personal and the second one being impersonal impersonal accounts are further classified as real and nominal so broadly two categories first personal second is impersonal impersonal are further classified as real and nominal whereas under modern classification there are five sub categories in which accounts have been divided they are assets liabilities capital revenue and expenses now we learn about how to classify accounts under all these categories and how to identify which account falls under which category but we must remember that the rules of debit and credit or the increase and decrease actually depends upon which category a particular account falls under